I'm Amanda Gear with The Signal. We're here at Bannerman Park for the kickoff to the NL Folk Festival. I have a very special guest that's headlining tonight here with me now, William Prince. So how does it feel being back in St. John's with your band? What's the difference between performing on solo on the stage by yourself with your guitar compared to a full band? Uh, there's just energy and, you know, spending time with uh, with these people that I love that are becoming like a family to me. It's just, it's nice nice to present the songs in their full form. Uh, I did a lot of years solo where I was singing by myself and so you just feel all that more confident and at home in your own song when you have players with you and this is a particularly special show because we have a couple local players joining us on stage and uh, I hear they're quite revered in this town so yeah. uh, we had a rehearsal this morning and I can't wait. I can't wait to put it all together because everybody's really excited and the band sounds great. Where do you get your inspiration for your music, William? Uh, right here in the park, everywhere you go. Just yeah. family and the whole kind of cosmic stream of it all is really what keeps me upright and writing things, you know. It's the yeah. human experience that we all live and share. I'm trying to tap deeper and deeper into that yeah. all the time, you know. Um, so no shortage of inspiration, just out here living and uh, enjoying it, standing in the joy, you could say. You know? Absolutely, I love that. <laughs> Good plug there for your new album. Uh, <laughs> so does your indigeneity inform any of your music and your songs? Uh, I might think about it the least. It's just such a part of me, you know. I learned my indigeneity in adulthood, so to say. I was raised in a home where I wasn't really privy to tapping into that um, and so as I became an informed adult and started spending time around those that are informed and leaders in the indigenous community I started to feel you know this sense of pride that is ancient and uh, I guess um, rightfully mine so yeah the lived experience um, I want to be a good foot forward and just a great songwriter and mm -hmm. artist and person to people and um, yeah my indigeneity is always along for the ride mm -hmm. and at the same time I, I just want to show people that you know we're we're out here living creating art yeah. we are so much more than our traumas than all those things we are dance and culture and song and laughter light-heartedness in the mm -hmm. park mm -hmm. uh, all these great things I think yeah. That's where my I want my indigeneity to shine. Yeah, that's beautifully said. So you're the headliner tonight. Give us a plug. What time and where can folks catch you? Oh gosh, this evening sometime. Uh, <laughs> and um, I think it's around 10:40. Oh, is you're it? Gonna be on? Holy cow, that's a late one. All right. Well, I'll be there this evening. And uh, yeah, looking forward. Like I said, we got the couple local players. Uh, really look forward. I, I love the songs we're playing these days. They're light and joyful, and with that, uh, yeah. it's gonna be great. Look forward awesome. to it. Awesome. We're all looking forward to hearing your swooning voice and your baritone melodies, and <laughs> I appreciate your time so much. Thank you very uh, much, William Prince. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.